Factsverse presents Preschool Sweethearts Fall in Love Again After 20 Years Apart. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all our videos. Not everyone believes in love at first sight, but Matt and Laura Grotsky certainly do. You've probably heard plenty stories of high school sweethearts getting married just after graduation, and while these stories are heartwarming, they're quite tame compared to the intense love ballad that is the story of the Grotskys. It all started in preschool. Matt Grodsky and Laura Scheel first met each other when they were only three years old. Matt was enamored of Laura from the moment he saw her. In fact, he trailed after her every day on the playground, desperately hoping they would become friends. When Laura finally noticed her little shadow, she quickly returned Matt's affection, and it wasn't long before the two were joined at the hip. Even their parents knew the two were best of friends, but they could never have imagined just how long this friendship would persist. Matt and Laura's parents knew just how close the two were and let them spend time together outside of preschool during playdates. The two would spend weekends together and even go on movie dates. The two bonded even more strongly over classic Disney films, their favorite of which was The Lion King. While Matt taught Laura all the lyrics to his favorite songs, Laura returned the favor by teaching him a host of skills as well. She taught him how to swing on the playground as well as how to draw, things that young Matt was very impressed by. By the time Matt was four years old, he already knew exactly what he wanted in life. In the middle of class one day, he stood up in front of everybody and announced that he would marry Laura. None of the other students believed him, of course, but Matt was adamant, and he clearly remembers telling everyone, just you wait. However, Matt and Laura's eventual wedding would still be a little while. For now, they had to worry about their upcoming graduation from preschool that led into kindergarten. Every preschooler is at least a little nervous about moving on to kindergarten, what with the changes it brings in classmates, routine, and environment. But Matt and Laura were particularly worried because they didn't know if they would be in the same class or not. Unfortunately, tragedy struck this young couple. The two were placed not only in different classes, but in entirely different schools. The two lived in slightly different zones in the city, which is why they were forced to separate to different schools. Both Matt and Laura were devastated by the news, but their parents, who understood just how important their friendship was, worked hard to let the two still hang out on the weekends. But Matt and Laura's playdates grew less frequent as the two began to engage in different activities and interests. After a time, the two never hung out at all anymore, and their only form of communication was through their family's annual Christmas cards. The two still had fond memories of one another, but as elementary school passed into middle school and then on to high school, their preschool friendship became increasingly distant. The two no longer knew one another. They had grown apart. Until, that is, they began high school. Laura and Matt were not lucky enough to get placed into the same high school, but by some stroke of fate, they found each other once again. Laura's friend was letting her look through her phone contacts when Laura stumbled upon a familiar name, Matt Grodsky. All of Laura's preschool memories came flooding back. She learned that her friend had met Matt in middle school, and Laura told her friend all about their tender bond in preschool. While Laura didn't think it would be a good idea to try and reconnect with Matt, her friend had a different view. Laura's friend noted how excitedly Laura talked about her friendship with Matt. When her friend suggested they exchange numbers, however, Laura became nervous. She was worried that their communication would be awkward, and she didn't know if they still had anything in common. Laura's friend was insistent, however, because she felt that Laura and Matt would make a good match, and the two eventually ended up exchanging numbers. Matt was ecstatic to receive Laura's number, and they began chatting. Things were going smoothly, and they eventually decided to go on a movie date, just like they had when they were younger. While both of them were quite nervous about meeting each other for the first time in a decade, the date itself went remarkably well. Things weren't awkward at all. In fact, they talked as though they had kept up with each other all those years. Matt knew it was love at first sight, again, and Laura felt the same. The two started going on regular dates. This high school relationship passed through freshman year into sophomore year all the way into their senior year. But then, just like their separation at the end of preschool, the two realized they would have to graduate. The two were accepted into colleges with over a thousand miles distance between them. Laura attended Northern Arizona University, while Matt went to Columbia College, Chicago. In total, the two were separated by 1,600 miles. Unlike their transition to kindergarten, however, the two wouldn't let this distance separate them again. They spoke to each other almost daily and met up as often as they could whenever they got the chance. Matt and Laura both knew they were meant for each other and they weren't going to let anything get in the way of their relationship. 
Their relationship lasted the entirety of college, and when senior year ended, the two were still going steady. Matt returned to Arizona, and then he invited Laura to a seemingly innocent picnic date. But while Laura thought the date would be just like any other, Matt was planning something much bigger. On the drive over, Laura knew Matt was nervous, but she couldn't figure out why. Laura's first surprise was the location of the picnic. When Matt pulled up at their old preschool, she immediately became emotional as she recognized it as the place where they had first met. Then, for the second surprise, Matt's proposal. Laura was in disbelief, but despite the emotions swirling through her head, she managed to say yes. Just like Matt had promised almost two decades before, he married Laura. Matt and Laura's families had both known Matt's intention to propose weeks before he actually did, and all their family members were ecstatic. The two finally married on December 30th, 2016. The first song they danced to was a childhood favorite, Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King. When asked what their favorite part of the wedding was, both agreed that they loved having all their loved ones there to celebrate the momentous occasion, and they both had a great time dancing as well. They didn't want to have an expensive, over-the-top wedding. Instead, the two were focused on making the occasion a ceremony for their relationship, as well as a celebration for the years to come. Matt and Laura celebrated their honeymoon in Maui for two weeks, where they had a wonderful time relaxing and spending quality time together. While on their honeymoon, Laura thought about her long history with Matt and decided to share her experience on Instagram, tagging an account called The Way We Met. The account ended up posting her story, and it immediately blew up with hundreds of thousands of likes. Before long, the two were viral, and people all over the world were in love with their story. Even with their newfound fame, however, the Grodskis are going on to live their lives normally. Matt is currently happy with his job as an account executive for a digital marketing agency. Meanwhile, Laura aids foster children at a nonprofit center. They also recently bought a new house together, and they intend to live there for many years. The two adopted an adorable dog named Kirby, and someday both Matt and Laura hope to become parents. For now, though, their new house and puppy is more than enough. Matt and Laura Grotsky are grateful every single day for the many strokes of luck, or fate, that brought them together. Their love has gone through the test of time and long distance, and though they are both still in their 20s, their relationship is young, stable, and shows no sign of ending anytime soon. Not everyone believes in soulmates, but there's no denying that some special force is holding these two together. What do you think is the most surprising part of Matt and Laura's relationship? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more videos.